I want to recognize and make it known that we appreciate the amphibians as well. They are a classification that is much overlooked. They do come in contact often with humans. It is not a fun life to live inside of a glass container. We feel for you, and we ask all of you to release pity today for those that have less freedoms than you may. It is important that we accept that some of us have slime. Some of us have feathers. Some of us can fly or swim. Others need air. Others are gooey. But all of us are important. My experience is different from yours, but it is just as important. I may be less recognized than most of you by the human collective. After all, humans that are intrigued by my kind are often outcast and called weird. They have a word there. I think they call them a nerd. It is no coincidence that we are often enslaved to a life of a science project. All the kids in school have experience with the frog. And yes, I have dove deep into this karma. Being collected by the hundreds only to be murdered through gaseous toxins. And then have your soul linger around your body through confusion and to be cut open and dissected and looked at is a very strange experience indeed. So I sought off to understand why this is so many of ours fate. And I do understand we are intrinsically tethered to science and karma as many are in a very unique way. So this is a torment upon my heart. This is not something I can change. Humans will not change this, but I can make myself known. Many of you have a story unique to yourselves, but equally as troublesome as mine. I am small in stature, but I am gigantic in feeling. I have knowledge that is vast. I am intrigued by all things that are natural and divine. While I am bitter towards science, I appreciate the discoveries that have been made on the backs of my brothers and sisters. And we continue to lay our eggs. We do not give up. We cannot give up. It is in us. We wouldn't know how to if we tried, but we still suffer. We suffer greatly. Some of us are eaten. Some of us are cut open and displayed for all to see. There are places where there are thousands of us in freezers bagged and tagged as they call it. It is a horrific sight. It is not one I wish upon any of you, but I have been there. I have seen it. So I understand your plight. I understand how deep the pain can cut. And I tell you here today, you can be more than a survivor. You can thrive. Together we can make change. So what do you say? Let's hop to it.